Here, attached to the back of the east wall, stands a plaque. A plaque in memory of a very special person and dated to 1727. So many gravestones here record the passing of many people. However, the gravestones from the 18th and 19th century tell a tragic story of the loss of so many children. certainly early Christian. I'm sure that this has a great tale to tell of history. But in 1663 a legal suit was issued between the chapel here at Thelwall and the church at Daresbury. It was actually believed at that time that the chapel here at Thelwall was much older than 1663. Here to the south of the Venables carvings we find a carving of a knight, a medieval knight. This one's lost his leg but I'm sure it wasn't in battle. Now another very interesting fact is that historically this church saw the civil war. Whilst Biddle Hall was under siege, the troops, the roundheads and the horses put themselves into the church for protection. However, the medieval windows were broken and much of the furniture was stolen. In 1269, a church was built on this site for the first time. The purpose of the church was an ease of chapel for nearby Great Budworth. The tower that we see today was constructed from sandstone mined from Alderley Edge just nearby. Indeed, the actual church is built as you'd expect on a timber frame. In 1852, the aisles were all altered and a new roof was fitted to the church, all under the direct control of Anthony Salvin. Join me throughout 2021 as I bring you new films and features, history articles in Cheshire Life magazine and more wonderful history of the churches across Cheshire.